Hello, it is me, TKLJoy from the YouTube, and welcome back, guys, to another video. Where in today's video, guys, we are playing some Fallout New Vegas for Fallout Fridays. Yes, we are bringing that back, and we're starting with what could be called the uh, first, I guess, technically, in the series. So let's just get into this. I don't have any mods. I do have all of the downloadable content though, so uh, yeah, we can go crazy with that. So let's uh, just get into this. Um, I'm also probably going to bring a roleplay aspect to this just as well as the Skyrim videos, so yeah. Now, of course, we're not going to be named to Killjoy. We'll probably go with something else. I always liked the older games. Well, he's dead. <laughs> changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world. I guess don't mind if I don't speak during cutscenes. I just think this is like a good moment tribes. in the lore. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. Interesting. You are a courier, hired okay. by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? <laughs> You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. You're gonna kill me? 
From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Kinda. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. one thing. Obsidian Entertainment does really good when it comes to their games. Classic pack items. Yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of the DLC stuff here. Jesus. You're awake. Lightweight metal armor, caravan packs. How about that? Jeez. <laughs> All right. Whoa, easy, Ugh. easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Oh, a couple relax? days. Get your bear. It's been a couple days. That's. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Um. All right. We'll just go with Jack. Maybe he won't have a last name. Huh. You can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your, well, name, well, that's your name, what do you mean I'm that's what you wouldn't have picked for me? Welcome to Good Springs. Now I hope I appreciate you don't mind, it. but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I oh, take yeah? pride in my needlework. Okay. You better tell me if I left anything out of place. All right, I'll uh, I'll take a look. Yeah, looks pretty okay. I guess we'll go with something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really okay. Let's see what we got here for hairstyles. We'll go smooth wave, looks good to me. A little bit of a goatee. Looking good. Alright, good to go. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. <laughs> okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's really? see if we can get you on your feet. Ah, oh, jeez, dude, it's blurry. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right, one thing. That's better. Ooh, I have to so improve far. my mouse sensitivity there. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn okay. Right quick, if you get back all your faculties. Got it. Ooh, this thing looks interesting. Alright, um... I think we're kinda just gonna go pretty even. I don't really want to... get too far into anything. Agility and luck. Kinda just gonna get screwed over there, I guess. That's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Yeah. Well, we know your vitals are good, but... Oh, there's a gun case in here. Case. Um... Hopefully that's... Jeez, that is really hard to handle. Like it's either oh geez, not full sensitivity. We'll try that. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and That's good. through a couple of questions? That works for Let's me. See if your dogs are still barking. Yeah, of course, Doc. What you got for me? Alright. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Dog. Uh cat. House. Shelter. Night. Day? Okay, um... Treasure? Bandit. Stab? Light. Dark. Mother. Father? 
Okay. Uh, human shield. <laughs> no, uh, caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Okay. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Uh, I dis I strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I have no opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Once again, no opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Um. Hmm. Well. It's, uh. Um. Hmm. Um. I think we'll go with a chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Hmm. Um. A ship at sea. Last one. Uh, that looks like two elephants, honestly, but uh, that's not an option. I guess a mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. So you're a doctor, but yeah, okay. Um, so let's see. Let's go with guns. Lock picking. And melee weapons sounds good for starting. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a oh. sense of your medical. You have a f just form? a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Yeah, totally. Um. Yeah, I don't want to do. I don't want to mess with any of those. Oh, yes, of course. I'm totally ready to leave. I think I'm, uh... I think I'm perfectly good to go. Sure. Why not? First of all, let's see what's around the house. A lot of books. Dresser. First aid box with a stim pack in it. Some cram. Okay, and then some radix, stim pack, and purified water. Nothing in there. Huh. Some ammo, maybe? Nice. Some seeds. Braxo cleaner. Alright, well, I think it's time for us to leave, after we take all of his money. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Yeah. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Well, Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Yeah, freaking. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. 
Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Okay. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yeah, thanks, Doc. You're great. All right, out back into the world after a few days. Yeah, I thought I was a goner. Oh, it's bright. Oh, it's bright. Oh. All right. Let's see. This thing looks pretty old. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway. Let's equip whatever we got here. Let's see here. Um. There we go. Throw some of that on. I think we're good to go. Ready to go. Okay, let's let's see what's up here. All right, what do we got here? Vending machine. Door to Good Springs gas station. Huh? Well, I can't get in there. Okay. No problem at all. Let's see, there's a, there's a robot running around here somewhere. Um, looks like he's gone now. Alright. Well, I suppose let's just uh, let's just find this sunny smiles person. Hello. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Um. Okay. Keep your gun handy if you go. All right. Well, he wasn't very useful to me. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, that's a very well-trained dog you have there. Dog Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. Is there a door to get back there? Or do I have to, uh... There we go. I figured. Everything all right? Yeah. And okay then. So, um, we're outside. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yeah. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Boom. That's the right idea. Boom. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Oh yeah, that does help my aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Not exactly. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure. Okay, Follow I'm in. me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Alright. Oh, hey, Doggo. 
Yes, I am. Whew. It's hot out here. Really... Jeez. Look, I knew when I came to the Mojave that it would uh, be hot, but damn, it's hot. Yeah, hey Sunny, I don't see any geckos. So, is there a reason we're keeping the geckos away, or like, what's what's the thing here? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. A okay. bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Well, Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, but like, like I said, I don't really understand what you're bugging the. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really understand why you're attacking geckos in the first place. Oh, something's moving. Is that a gecko? Is that a gecko? Oh. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that is terrifying. They just, they just run at you like that? Did they... Do they, do they really just... So they just run at you like that. That's terrifying. Why? Jeez. Okay. Is that good water? That is good water. That's good, at least it's good water. Look at that thing, it's huge! Fucking jeez. Alright, Sunny. See? You're getting the hang of it. Yeah. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come Shouldn't with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay. All right. Let's see. So there's more of these gigantic geckos? I've never seen one in my life. Oh, like I said, that is absolutely terrifying. Oh, I hate, I hate when they run at you. Sonny, I really hate when they just run. It's, it's terrible. Let me, uh... Oh, do I not need to reload? Alright, no problem. Come on! Alright. Let's see here. Let's try that. Mm, yep, nope. I think I'm better off just, uh... Not doing that. Oh, would you look at that? Is that a dead person there? You bet. That's definitely a dead person. Alright. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Yeah. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, well it's, it's her part fault. of life out here. Best to accept it. Exactly. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more Ooh. thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? 
Um, couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some xander root and a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Oh, nice. I think uh, I'm gonna head to the tavern and uh, probably pass out for a bit. It's uh, it, it's been a day. It has been a day. What a day, what a day, what a day it's been. Son of you, uh, oh. All right, well, I guess I'm heading back on my own. Hmm. Well. Man, I just don't even know what happened. Two days ago, I was... Well, not two days ago. I think, he, I think the doc said it was like three or four days ago. Anyway, a while ago, I was just, you know, bringing this chip over to the strip. And then, uh, got freaking shot. That's not cool. Oh well, it's best to just make what's good out of it, which is I'm at least still alive. So. Let's uh, put my gun away, I don't really need it. Let's go uh, sit at the tavern here and uh, well, let's just have a good time. Bartender. Hello? Yeah, screw it. <laughs>